Hey folks, this is Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group. And today I'm going to be giving a update on my home. Uh, this is my own personal build. Um, current situation as far as with the home is that we are in the drying stage. Uh, we just framed it out as far as inside the windows are being installed um, and the plumbing uh, rough in has uh, just been completed. So let's uh, go take a tour and I'll tell you some of the things that I did as far as um, inside the house. So right here we have a door. So this is gonna be the entrance door. What I'm doing is this is gonna be a 42 inch wide door and this is gonna be an iron door that is 10 feet tall. I have this, uh, I guess you wanna call it knee wall that's right here, but after I installed it, kind of realized that this is something that I'm gonna have removed. I think I'm gonna have a better flow as far as in the interior. Um, great room uh, without this. So this is, uh, next time you see a video, this is gonna be gone. So let's uh, take a look at the great room area. Um, I went with the 90 degree slider now this is a nine foot slider 90 degree and something else that i did that's a little bit different um, as far as with the windows uh, pgt has a line that is uh, called the black series so instead of uh, the bronze um, i went to a upgraded uh, black frame as far as for all the windows and for all the doors all right, over here I have two floor outlets that are gonna be as far as on the floor. So this is gonna be set up as far as for night lights or any type of reclining chair if I decide to go that way. I have my island right through here. And what I'm gonna be doing with this, and I'll put some uh, pictures of the of the island the way it's gonna look. It's gonna come out to about right here. And this part is gonna be a cove as far as underneath. Um, I have over here the cabinets that I'm gonna have two pantry cabinets. They're gonna be going all the way up to the ceiling with a hood as far as up here, a pot filler, and then another pantry cabinet that goes out to the ceiling. Over here, I have a 42 inch fridge. Uh, I decided to go with the uh, GE monogram series and it's a 30, set, 30 uh, inch refrigerator with a 18 inch freezer. And what I like about this is that we had to do two water lines here. Um, one is gonna be for a water dispenser that's actually inside the refrigerator. And then we have this set up as far as for the ice maker. Over here, we will have a wine bar with a, uh, some wine rack as far as above it. And just to my right over here, this is gonna be really cool. This is uh, gonna be the first time we've done this. This is going to be a hidden door. So the pantry doors are gonna be flush as far as over here. And then I have a nice little pantry as far as behind it. Um, another feature that I did, um, and a lot of times you see the trays that go up, what I decided to do down here is I did a drop down tray. Once the drywall goes in, you'll have a little bit better idea of the look and the way it's going to look, but this is a basically what I call a drop down tray. Uh, the tray here is a 12 inch tray, um, and then I have the tray coming in and then rope lighting will be inside. Over here, this is my, I guess you want to call it entertainment niche. Um, I came out eight inches over here, and this is where the electrical fireplace is going to be. And then what I did is I brought a soffit line out over here and has it going all the way down to the lanai wall over here and we'll have lights coming down with the TV that's gonna be placed approximately right here. And then a, what I would call a little table area right here that comes out also. So this is a nice little feature. 
Uh, over here we have the two guest bedrooms. Uh, to my left is a standard about 12 by 12 bedroom with the uh, transom windows as far as in the front and I had to do a window that opens as far as for egress uh, to the right. I have a guest bathroom as far as over here with a shower. Off over here, I have a nine foot sliding glass door that goes out to the lanai area. And this is the pool bath area that goes directly into the lanai. And one of the things I did a little different, um, this is again, this is a PGT door. Okay, and again, it's in the black series. I also did the frosted glass. So you can take a look at this right here. All right, so they're getting ready to do the, um, um, the pool has been installed. Um, they'll have the inspection as far as for the plumbing. This is uh, about a 400 and, I think it's over 450 square feet as far as for the pool. Um, right here, I have the spa. And it's a, basically the spa is gonna be just uh, level as far as with the water line, as far as for the spillover. And I have three um, areas to sit as far as for jets. Um, the three that you see over here is a special jet system as far as for the jets for the spa. Over here, I have the first sun shelf. So we can see this over here. And this is a bubbler. Um, this bubbler um, also will have lights in it. So when you can turn the lights on as far as with the pool and you'll see uh, lights as far as go through as far as for the bubblers when they come up. Um, off to this area over here, this whole area is gonna be screened in. And this other area over here, this is going to be a open area um, that is gonna be non-screen. And I plan on setting this up as a um, outdoor area with a little fire pit. Over here, we have a three panel slider. And also you can see, I went with the nine foot tall slider. So all the sliding glass doors and all the windows right here are lined up as far as on the top. I wanted that uniformity as far as going across the top. I'm gonna walk over here to the other area of the pool. So what we have here is the second shelf, uh, sun shelf. I have two bubblers um, and both, again, these are gonna be uh, lit as far as with lighting. Um, and then this area over here is going to be a second sitting area. And what I'm planning on doing is right through here, I'm gonna have steps that come out of the water, three steps that you can walk across and as far as get to this area over here. All right, so let's go into the, uh, to the master suite. I have two closets, the main closet over here, and then a smaller closet to my left over here. A single tray above. And the way I positioned my home as far as for this, this is at the end of a canal. And if you can look out to the sliding glass doors over here, you can see I'd be looking out to my spa and then I have a view as far as down the canal. So I wanted to maximize the view uh, since I'm near the end of the canal to give me the uh, best view. And then also uh, at the end of the canal, I'm also gonna have my uh, boat dock so I didn't want to see that. I want to have a view as far as down the canal. Um, there's going to be a pocket door here going into this one closet. And then I also have another pocket door over here. And then we walk into the master bathroom and we have our uh, van dual vanity sinks, okay, set up with two pantry towers that are going to be on each side, okay. And then we walk over here. This is going to be the shower with a linear drain, 
Over here is going to be the tub. And then dead center in the window, I'm going to have a small bench sheet that extends. Um, one of the things that I did do as far uh, with the plumbing is I have a rain shower above. Okay, a shower head coming up over here. And then I'm gonna have a handheld over here to the left. And what I decided to go with was a diverter valve over here. And what that allows me to do is turn on the hot water, have the hot water go, and then I can control the main head, shower head, and then I can flip it over as far as to the rain shower. And then also over here, this will be as far as for another uh, turn and you will have the handheld and you'll be able to control it. Um, another feature that I'm doing over here is I am going to have a niche over here. Once we put the dryer vent down over here, it's going to be going out to the side of the window. I can't have a pipe going up here for the niche that I want to install over here. So once we have that installed, then I'll design my niche as far as what's going to go over here. All right, folks, I'm in the dining room and I just want to uh, touch base real briefly on what I decided to do as far as for the installation, as far as for the home. Um, what I did is I upgraded to what they call the ridge board. So this is going to give me a little bit higher R factor that you would have as far as in lieu of the R foil. And then for the um, uh, for the roof, um, I did decide to go also with the radiant cheating, and this is going to give me some cooling factors as far as for the attic. Um, think of it just as a sun shield as far as for your windshield in your car. Um, also, you can't see this now, uh, but I will be going with the R38 insulation, and I'm going to be insulating the garage. And then I'm also going to be insulation in all the main living area. And then I decided to do is add the insulation as far as for the lanai area. I do have the Western exposure. So I want to get the best possible insulation as far as for the entire house. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to like, share, comment below, and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, I'm Brian Ludden with Pinnacle Property Group.